Hello everyone, welcome to Wild Writing in the Time of Corona. Uh, we have reached day 150 today and we're going to do our ordinary workshop. So you will need pen and paper of some sort or your computer and we're going to start by writing a list down of six um, phrases and um, then we'll move on from there. So here we go. So here's today's list. Uh, first one is a crop. Second one is a container. The third one is a precious liquid. The fourth one is a children's game. The fifth one is a dream. And the sixth one is a historical figure. I'll go through those again for you. So we have a crop, a container, a precious liquid, a children's game, a dream, and a historical figure. Now, against that list, what I'd like you to do is to write down the first thing that comes into your head when you hear that phrase. So the first time you hear a crop, what do you think of? Write that down. So you will make your own list of six things. They may be single words, they may be phrases, they may be very precise, they may be vague. The next stage, having got that list, is to look at it and to think what you could make with it. Now, sometimes a story suggests itself, sometimes a description suggests itself, sometimes it's very hard to get any connections at all. But once you've done that, um, and, and you may not be able to get them all in, I've said from the start on this, um, four is plenty. You can, if you want to try and get all six, that's fine, but four is plenty. And once you've um, had that, done that little bit of thinking, and that's where the kind of the creativity really starts to come in, um, try and write the poem. Now, you have the opportunity in this poem, if you want to, to be um, slightly kind of biographical, to have a character speaking or for it to be about a character, as you have a historical figure in here. Um, and um, you decide whether you rhyme, whether you write in free verse, whether you, as I say, whether you write a story, whether you write it from the first person, however you do it. So I'm going to leave you do that. And what I suggest you do is you pause the video and you write, you, you have your six words or phrases and then you write your poem. And when, you, when you've written your poem and you're happy with it, if you come back to the video, I will share with you my choices and read you my poem. Okay, right. If you're ready with your stuff that you need, um, then start. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed your moment of uh, creative moments of creativity today. Um, so the list I came up with was I thought a very um, very strange list, but here's here's a list. My crop was sunflowers. My container was an urn, um, which I imagine to be a funeral urn. Uh, my precious liquid was blood. My children's game was catch. Uh, the dream I had was just of another life. I wasn't any more precise than that. And the historical figure I chose was Mark Antony. So I looked at these and was quite puzzled. But then where I went to was my knowledge of um, the play Antony and Cleopatra and how Mark Antony I had always seen as a very, I suppose, romantic figure, really, in terms of the play and in terms of history. Not that my history is great, but my knowledge of the play is, is, is OK. So I decided to write as if I was Mark Antony, which is a great creative leap to make early in the morning. So uh, my poem is called Mark Antony to Cleopatra. My love, I'm dreaming of another life. Enough of the triumvirate, of Mars, of the relentless rattlings from Rome. A life where you and I, as children, run through sunflowers with their full-headed faces following the sun. We'd hide ourselves amidst their mighty stems, consumed in warm caresses, we'd entwine, then run. Oh, how we'd run, 
my most precious queen, out to the Delta, to Memphis, to Blue. For you, only for you, I will stand the tide as worlds collide, as Roman blood is shed. Not for us any clay funeral urn, any pomp or majesty when we die. By the banks of the Nile, safe in your arms, my love, for eternity, I am content to lie. Now, I'm, um, I'm quite pleased with that poem and I wanted to show you how I worked on it because I wrote it and then I realised that I had some... Um, uh, the rhythm felt a bit kind of raggedy. Now, that can happen quite often when you write um, uh, in, uh, in speech, which is what this is. Um, but I wanted to try and um, get it... Uh, as as I am because I could. Um, so basically, I was trying to get um, 10 beats per line and I started off with quite um, uh, a range of numbers. <laughs> um, sometimes, some, some of my lines, I've got two very, very short lines in it. I've got a five, line, five beat line and a two beat line. Um, but the rest, I managed to make all 12, so uh, all 10, sorry. So I thought I'd just show you how I started off and I actually read it through and counted the syllables. And I was happy to have the very brief lines in the middle, but the rest of it I wanted to be, as I said, um, uh, to be iambic pentameter, which it is. Um, and I just did that as a little challenge to myself. Anyway, that's today's workshop. Please do share um, what you write, and I hope you're enjoying the uh, the creativity that this um, that this brings to your day. So, uh, best wishes, and I will see you in a couple of days.